Once part of Czechoslovakia, Slovakia is a small country with a lot to offer. From its colorful medieval towns and fairy tale castles to beautiful nature and delicious food, it can entertain you for weeks. Are you looking for intact nature? Do you like historic places full of Gothic churches and medieval castles? Slovakia will exceed all your expectations. Haven't you already decided where to go on your visit to Slovakia? Discover with us the best places to see in Slovakia, which offers endless tourist attractions. Number 1. Bratislava Bratislava, the capital of Slovakia, is one of the smallest capitals in Europe, but has so much to offer. The city has two castles, Bratislava Castle, which became a favorite royal seat of Queen Maria Theresa, and Devon Castle, destroyed by Napoleon's troops in 1809, which sits on the top of the rock, and its ruins are a popular tourist attraction. Bratislava's old town is full of historical buildings and Baroque palaces. The most famous of them is the Grosselkovich Palace, the residence of the Slovak president, the Gothic St. Martin's Cathedral, one of the oldest churches in the country, was a coronation church of Queen Maria Theresa in 1741. Between 1563 and 1830, Bratislava became the coronation town after the Turkish occupation of Hungary. The city is full of galleries and charming parks. One of them, Sadyanka Krala, is located just five minutes walking from the old town. Bratislava has a lot of cafes, restaurants, and pubs. Try Halushki, Slovak national dish made of potatoes, flour, and egg. Don't forget to say hi to Jumila, one of the city's symbols, and get some souvenirs at the end of your trip. The city's nickname is Beauty on the Danube and is only 60 kilometers away from Vienna. This makes them the two closest capitals in Europe. Number 2. Košice Košice, the second largest city in Slovakia, will surprise you with its architecture, which is a mix of Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and Art Nouveau styles. You cannot miss the main street, which is full of aristocratic palaces, Catholic churches, medieval houses, as well as boutiques, cafes, and restaurants. Number one must-see place is St. Elizabeth Cathedral, the largest church in Slovakia. The splendid state theater, built in 1788 in neo-baroque style, is for all the lovers of drama, ballet, and opera. Do not miss Lavia Cafe, the fanciest restaurant in the city. New Orthodox Synagogue, built in 1927, is a reminder of one of the largest Jewish communities in Slovakia, before the Second World War. During the day, you can visit many of cities, galleries, and museums, while in the evening you can enjoy nightlife with plenty of bars and restaurants. The city is known as the first town in Europe to be granted its own coat of arms. Number 3. Banska Bystrica It does not matter if you look for historic architecture or great nightlife. Banska Bystrica, this fairy tale medieval city, offers everything. Its main street is full of colorful medieval houses that will take your breath away. The must-see tourist attraction is the Baroque-style clock tower. It also served as a watchtower in order to observe if an enemy was approaching, but also to watch if a fire started somewhere in the city. The city played an important role during the Slovak national uprising against Nazis in 1944, and its open-air museum of heavy military equipment is located in the middle of a park. The oldest building is the late Romanesque parish church of the Virgin Mary from the second half of the 13th century. From Bratislava, Banska Bystrica is easily accessible by highway or by train. Number four, Banska Stivnica. Banska Stivnica is an unbelievably beautiful medieval town located in the middle of Slovakia. It used to be the main producer of silver and gold during Middle Ages. Thanks to its rich past, the town is full of impressive buildings, churches, palaces, and mining houses, which you can admire as you walk up or down, because in Banska Stivnica, you never walk straight. It is impossible to overlook the Calvary Mount with its upper church with two towers. It is a popular pilgrimage place and is accessible all year long for free. 
When you get to Banska Stiavnitsya, visit also the historical Trinity Square, surrounded by well-preserved mining houses in Renaissance style. You can also visit some of the old mines, but take some warm clothes because even in summer, it is very cold inside. The town's nickname is Europe's El Dorado, as gold was sought after by adventurers from Europe and Turkey, as well as by robber barons. Number five, High Tatras. If you like skiing or snowboarding in winter or hiking in summer, High Tatras is the right place for you. You will easily fall in love with beautiful nature, splendid grand hotels, and little picturesque villages such as Stari Smokovets or Tatranska Lomnitsya. The most famous attraction is Strobsky Mountain Lake, where you can get by a cog rail. In summer, you can rent a boat here, and in winter, the surrounding area is popular for winter sports. From here, you can hike to beautiful Pabratsky Pleso, which is a magnificent place to be, thanks to its lake and numerous trees. If you are not scared of heights, take a cable car to Lamniski Peak, the second highest peak of the mountains. When you come in winter, you cannot miss Tatra Ice Dome on Hebrianak, which is full of ice sculptures. We recommend you visit some of the few aqua parks in wintertime. They are filled with thermal waters and they provide many adventures. Number six, Boinitsia. Boinitsia is a little historic town, but it has undoubtedly much to offer. Let's start with the romantic Boinitsia Castle, surrounded by the splendid castle park built in the 12th century. The castle is home to the most visited museum in Slovakia, which you can visit and take guided tours. The castle's architecture is a mix of Gothic and Renaissance styles. It is also a popular filming location of fairy tale movies, such as Fontagiro. The National Zoo Boinitsia, located next to the castle, contains about 3,500 animals, including more than 430 species from all around the world. It is the oldest zoo in Slovakia and covers more than 41 hectares. The town is worldwide known as a spa town for its healing spa springs. The last private owner of the castle was Jan Batya, the famous shoemaker. Number seven, Bardiajov. One of the oldest towns in Slovakia, Bardiajov is famous for its intact medieval town center and numerous monuments. The town center is full of cafes and restaurants where you can taste delicious Slovak national dishes. The town is dominated by a dazzling square, which is full of medieval, Renaissance, and Gothic architecture and has become a favorite tourist destination in Slovakia. The most outstanding building in the town is the Church of St. Agidius, with four chapels and precious Gothic altars. Three aisled Basilica was completed in 1464, and when you enter it, the beauty of its interior will take your breath away. Visit also Town Hall, built at the beginning of the 16th century, which is a museum today and houses a collection of beautiful Gothic art. Do not miss the town fortifications, which consist of 23 bastions. Nine of them have remained intact. Badiyayav has also the Calvary, which is situated on the hill. It consists of 13 chapels, symbolizing the stations of the cross. They are 13, not 14, because 7th and 8th stations are connected into one. Number eight, Trenčín. Located less than 90 minutes by highway or a train from Bratislava, Trenčín is a lovely city to explore. Its most famous tourist attraction is the medieval Trenčín Castle, situated on the rock, built in 11th century. The beautiful fortified castle houses the museum, and even though you must walk up the hill to visit it, you will find spots with scenic views of the valley below. Do not miss the House of Town's headsmen, filled with authentic tools and artifacts. Trenchin has a large main square with a large Baroque church and a town tower from 15th century. However, the tower's clock is from 1934. Every year in July, there is a Pohoda Festival, Slovakia's biggest arts and music event. Number nine, Levocha. Lavocha is a beautiful medieval city in Slovakia, easily recognizable thanks to its burger houses and large main square. 
The must-see attraction of La Vaucha is the Gothic Basilica of St. James, built in 14th century, where you can find the world's tallest wooden altar of Master Paul of La Vaucha. In the town's main square stands also the Old Town Hall. The Gothic Town Hall from 15th century was replaced with a Renaissance-style one after a fire. Today it houses a museum focused on the history of the town. The most beautiful facade in the town has the Thurso's house, which used to belong to the most powerful families of Thurso and Chalky. It is the only building in the city with a Renaissance attic. Do not miss the iron cage of shame standing next to the town hall, which used to serve for public punishment of people who did not behave according to the then moral values. For instance, when a woman walked out in the dark without a man, she ended up in this cage for 24 hours. It takes only 15 minutes from Lavocha to the Spiche Castle, so you can visit both places the same day. Number 10, Spiche Castle. One of the biggest European castles by area, the ruins of Spiche Castle are open to tourists every day from April until October. This castle is one of the finest examples of medieval fortification architecture. It was built more than 900 years ago and was owned by the most noble families in the past. After the last one, the Chalky family left the castle at the beginning of the 18th century and subsequent fire in 1780, it turned into ruins. Today it houses a museum and a chapel and we recommend a guided tour in order to understand more how the castle used to function and understand its meaning in the history. Thanks to its fortification, walls, and location, Spiche Castle has never been conquered as a result of an assault or siege. There is a parking lot underneath the castle, and it takes less than 10 minutes to reach the castle on foot. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more in the future, leave a comment, give a like, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.